These are the sounds of the royal bands from the Tutsi Emirate, Jigawa State, Northwestern Nigeria. The Tutsi Emirate spans seven local government areas in Jigawa State, with Tutsi being the headquarters of the Emirate. It is a town which derived its name from the rocky topography peculiar to the area occasioned by different forms of rocks widely spread across the town. Dutsi has a long and interesting history of traditional rulership, which passed through different phases. From 1421 to 1807, it was the Habe rulers that ruled Dutsi and were referred to as Sarkis. This was the period before the voluntary handover of power to the Fulata Borno rulers by the last Habe ruler, Sarkin Dutsi Amadu Gwajambo, who reigned from 1799 to 1807. The second phase, which began in 1807, so the reign of Fulani rulers from two ruling clans, namely Jallegawa and Yallegawa ruling clans. The first to assume leadership in this phase was Salih Hudan Ibrahim, who ruled from 1807 to 1819. He was referred to as the first Amir, which means commander of the faithful. This phase, however, marked a turning point in the traditional rulership independence that Dutsi enjoyed prior to the ascendancy of the Fulani rulers. Dutsi now became submerged into the then Kanu, which was what the clan leaders of Dutsi opted for. That continued until 1903 when British conquered Kano and introduced administrative reform, which saw Dutsi now having district heads, which obtained in the entire northern region. The first to be made a district head was Haladun Suleiman, who reigned between 1903 to 1910. The district head status of traditional head of Tutsi Emirate continued with successive heads until Amir Abdullahi Maikano and Suleiman became the Emir of Tutsi Emirate. He became the Emir of Tutsi in 1960 and was elevated to first class Emir, which took effect from 5th June 1981, only to be reversed on October 1, 1983. Abdullahi Maikano resigned in 1983. He was succeeded by Amir Muhammad Sanusi Dambello. Dutsi yet became an emirate once again during his reign and following the creation of Jigawa State out of Kano State on November 13, 1991. Amir Muhammad Sanusi became a first-class emir. He died on 29th November 1995 as first-class emir. The successor of Nambello is his son, the reigning emir, Amir Nuhu Am Muhammad Sanusi. He became the emir of Dutsi Emirate on 10th December 1995 and was installed a first-class emir on 13th January 
1996. He is of the Yelligawa ruling clan. These emirs administered the emirate from the Emir of Justice Palace, which is surrounded by rocks. It has now become a major tourist attraction due to its design and rich display of artful colors and symbols as a result of the first lift it received during the reign of the present Emir, His Royal Highness Amir Nuhu Muhammad Sanusi. The Ariwa symbol is dominant in the palace art and design. Although modernized to mirror beta architecture from outside, it is still features a lot of the traditional works and building structures on which the palace was first built. Dr. Nubu Muhammad Sanusi was born in January 1945. He attended Dutsi Elementary School from 1952 to 1956. After his post-primary education, he proceeded to Ahmad Bello University Zaria for his National Certificate of Education. He later obtained BSc degree and followed up with Masters of Art in International Business from Ohio University, United States of America. He also obtained postgraduate diploma in project planning and analysis from Bradford University, United Kingdom. He has been awarded honorary doctorate degree in management by Federal University of Technology Oweri. He is also a holder of the national owner, commander of the Niger CON. His Royal Highness Nuhu Muhammad is widely traveled and highly experienced. Since becoming an Emir, he has taken steps to take this historic emirate to the next level. My greatest ambition beside having a unique uh, community where people respect each other my, my second most important mission is to get our youth educated and get so they, they become gainfully employed. And uh, other than that, I consider myself being the father of all to make our young people particularly understand the uh, that the future belongs to them. And we will support them in any way so that they become the leaders of tomorrow. I am not satisfied yet that we have reached that level, but we are doing our best. Maybe in the next few years, if we are alive, we'll be able to say, yes, young people who are handled, we are going to take over from us, a good system that uh, takes care of all your needs and particularly as regards to their own welfare and how we bring up our own families and our young, uh, their children also. The Emir carries out the task of leading his people with an open door policy. He has a number of traditional title holders, many of whom he appointed after due consideration of their suitability. Some of these title holders are usually turbaned in the historic Garu Palace.
Once a traditional title holder is turbaned, he is presented to the emir. Prayers are offered, an oath of office administered with promise of being just, hard-working and selfless in service delivery. The emir's open-door policy encourages his subordinates to make valuable contributions in decision-making. What really intrigued me and uh, uh, got me actually even more involved and more interested is uh, the way decisions are taken at the council. Uh, I never expected that uh, an Emirate Council would be as democratic as I found the Dusa Emirate Council in the sense that whenever an issue uh, was brought to the council, you will not find the Emir being the first to speak or to air his opinion. He would ensure that every member who really wishes to, in fact, he sometimes would insist that everybody spoke on that particular issue. It is after that, then he will express his opinion. Uh, a lot of times, in fact, most of the time, he takes the opinion of the council, even if the opinion of the council differs from his own opinion. Since becoming an emirate, the Dutse emirate has maintained Islamic religious practices, while also accommodating the cultures of the people. Dr. Nuhu Muhammad Sanusi, therefore, strengthens these attributes. One area the Dutse Emirate has achieved continued success under Dr. Muhammad Sanusi is in the aspect of alms given. Zakat, as it is referred to in Islam, is a religious obligation which demands the rich to offer a certain percentage of their wealth to the poor. Even this year, we have collected about 260 million naira from the rich people within the Emirate, which we distributed to over 23, 22,000 people who are poor within the Emirate. The collection of the Zakat, we don't take it from one village to another village. Whatever we collect within that village, we distribute it within that village. His Royal Highness, Nuhu Muhammad, is an Emir who is very close to his people. He is always jovial and drives pleasure in being simple. His friendliness is easily noticed by all as his interaction with anyone he comes across is usually without any showing off. These people's emir ensures that the people of Dutze Emirate continually live in peace. Therefore, under his watch, the Emirate has an elaborate system of mediation which benefits the entire Emirate and beyond. The system of dispute resolution in the Dutse Emirate spans through wards, villages to district level. See, it's one of the best things that has been introduced in the Emirate. Because since the introduction of this mediation, uh, we have solved a lot of problems and now things are, have cooled down. We don't have uh, so much conflict between our people. So we have achieved a lot in this regard. And people are very happy. Mostly people don't go to uh, court now. They prefer to come to us or go to police. They prefer to come to us because they know if they come to us, it is easier, quicker, and uh, less costly. Today, this system of mediation is being extended to other states in the country with Adamawa, Borno, and Yobe states sending their delegations to experience first hand. This system of alternative dispute resolution, which is working effectively in the Dutse Emirate. The Dutse Emirate, being a religious and cultural emirate, celebrates both religious and cultural festivals. The two its Muslim festivals are usually followed with colorful daba, which is also a mark of honor for important visitors.
Cultural festivals celebrated in the Dutsi Emirate include Fishing Festival, Dambi, which means local boxing, local wrestling, and Sharu, which means Fulani Bitten. All these are celebrated to enhance unity amongst the people of the Emirate. Dutsi Emirate is indeed unique in its own way and it is further blessed with a unique Emir. His Royal Highness Nuhu Muhammad has recorded great deal of achievements as a royal father of repute. This is acknowledged by all and it is believed that the future is even brighter. In the appointment of the present Emir, there are a lot of achievements, so many. Part of the achievement there is peace. Peace is number one. Anywhere where there is no peace, any, any administrator, you, ju you judge him on security. So he take care of security within the Emirate. You, you don't find any problem on insecurity within the Emirate. And if there is any, any information we get, immediately we inform the security agent when we take action. Other, the other issue, he is in charge of the zakat. The zakat is where we collect from the poor, we give to the rich. Having been so experienced in wide range of areas, Dr. Nuhu Muhammad has therefore seen a lot. He is an emir whose love for Nigeria is limitless. He thus has his view about how issues need to be approached for a better nation. Our biggest problem as a nation is in patience. We are not patient enough as a nation to benefit from things. We want things to happen now and today and now. And if it doesn't happen, if it doesn't happen then, then it's not acceptable. No nation grows overnight. We have to nurture our young people. We have to reprogram our youth so that they think differently from what we are in the past. We are always in a hurry to make it. And so we are not able to sit down, design or think ahead of what will happen to the future. My greatest advice to Nigerians is that we should start to look inward. Allow the young people who are now the, the future, allow them to take part in their own future. Let them develop. Let our educational system be that a, a, a system that will sustain the lives of young people and give them an economic base. We have to encourage and develop our middle class. And the middle class are those people that are teachers, uh, doctors, all other professions. Develop them, give them a chance, and then you will have less problem. The Dutsi Emirate surely has an active emir. Despite the huge task of leading the Emirate, Dr. Nuhu Sanusi pursues his hobbies vigorously. My greatest hobby is reading. I read a lot. I spend a lot of time reading. And, but more importantly, the physical exercise. I am a golfer. I have a golf course and I develop the sports from scratch in this city. 
and uh, I keep myself fit uh, on a daily basis. And this is why I think uh, I, I, I have, uh, possibly I look uh, much younger than my age because I do a lot of sporting uh, physical activities. Secondly, I'm a, I, like, I love nature, I love plants, I love crops, I love, so I, I go into farming. I do a lot of farming now. And I have, I love, because of my love for nature, I'm constantly, constantly, if you look around the town, do they, you'll see so many, so many, so many trees in the middle of the Sahel, the desert. And this is part of our efforts. I want a green city. And this is why I take personal interest in the trees that are planted here. Even in the, if you go into the rocky areas, you will see that we have developed a way where we plant the trees in, in the rocks. And so I keep myself busy, busy with the nature, uh, which gives me peace, and busy reading about the world, about exhibiting about things, which keeps my brain active. Royal father, like Nuhu Muhammad Sanusi, and many others, no doubt, play a vital role in the stability and peaceful coexistence in Nigeria. Their roles can therefore never be undermined. Nigeria is so blessed with numerous royal fathers with varied experiences, but united in seeing that Nigerians remain peaceful. We have just taken you through another historic emirate headed by a jovial royal father. The Dutsi Emirate is indeed one that has history worth telling. March, where on the first come as I call vote, we vote for people where we say they go represent us for their government. Where, where? So, vote, others do election observers, some save the polling officers. But he never finish, oh, make we come together, arrange or join association where we go feel discuss matter, where go make we lives better, go give the people where we vote for inside government, make we get involved. hear a bomb explosion or gunshots of an active shooter, that might be a terror attack. At such times, always remember three action words. Run, hide, report. Don't try to run towards the terror scene to save the situation because there might be a second bomb blast or another attack. Run far away and take cover. Make sure you are safe first. Yes, it is in our nature to sympathize over the hurt. But remember, only trained personnel can help in such situations. When in a secured environment, promptly call relevant authorities and help will come. For anonymous reporting, call 09630-3250 to 5 or 0813-2222-106. If you see something, say something. Nigeria, unite against terrorism. This message is brought to you by the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture. Oh boy, climb this thing now. No be only to connect lights. Come do on yourself now. Ah! Now wow. Oh boy, come down now. Oga Kasali electrician, what would they look for with this? Oh! Oga Kasali, come help us fix this uh, wire now. Ah! Sorry. I no longer carry out illegal connection. 
it puts the lives of people at risk and can cause fire outbreak and disrupt power supply. I will never be part of anything that has to do with this any longer because change begins with me. Oh boy, what do you talk makes sense? Oh boy, I'm going to carry this ladder for more This message is brought to you by the National Orientation Agency in conjunction with the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture. A betrayal of millions of fans of the world's most